Welcome back. Today we're going to do the top 50, but let's check out the comments first. Leo says, so is Catfish a no-go anymore? Again, Catfish is still in its uh, consolidation. So yeah, again, as long as uh, Catfish doesn't take out this low, it's still good to go. Uh, but the moment we take out this low, that's it. Catfish is a good boy. So I suspect uh, Catfish might still do something like this, sweeping the lows, but again, we're still not sure. And I suspect you're putting in too much because all you ask about is catfish. So maybe next time, don't put so much, right? Uh, when you catch yourself being very emotional about something, uh, know that it is uh, giving you a feedback. The feedback is is too much. You're putting in too much. Christopher says, thank you for continuing to make videos. You know, be millionaires, just for your cheers. And thank you uh, again. You are welcome. What the hell happened to Curve? You yeah, bro, Curve? Michael Agarov, uh, liquidated. <laughs> oh my God, uh, massive liquidation. Do you know that uh, Michael Agarov bought two mansions in Melbourne? All right, curve Michael uh, mansions. Not one, two mansions. Two. How much? Forty million. Are you bro? What is this? He's trying to live a very lavish celebrity kind of a life. When you look at the other founders of crypto projects, there are people who really truly put in the work and there are also people who are uh, in it for the money. So you can tell that, um, I mean, do you need a $40 million mansion? I don't know, man. I'm not Michael. So yeah, so that's what happened to Curve. Um, it's gonna be spray for the DXY to go down. Okay, if we look at the DXY, right? If we look at the DXY, and if we were to draw resistance, a resistance line across, yo, bro, this this looks like a squeeze to me, bro. <laughs> I think we could be breaking out for the DXY. So I will preach caution. Um, we're definitely in a consolidation. Uh, if the pre previous trend is bearish, we anticipate the possibility of it zipping a bit lower, right? Um. But but at the same time, you know, this, this could also be a uh, bullish reversal, right? You can see valleys, valleys, valleys. The thing about symmetrical triangles is uh, it's bi-directional, which means that it can either go up or it can either go down. So in this case, um, uh, yeah, I'm anticipating it to go back up though. So again, we'll see how it goes. Uh, this was a very big, big, big um, squeeze that came in. Broke out, retrace. And now we are yeah, hanging around here. We're marking around. So I'm still anticipating the possibility of um, the US dollar, the DXY, continuing to strengthen. Um, next would be, where's this? Dr. The Moon, let's go. Let's can, can have a look at EGLD. Please, why? What's in EGLD? In EGLD, if you look at it, uh, it's already under the skinny pink line. And you can see that this is a mountain, mountain, mountain is a descending. But like a, it looks like a symmetrical by the descending. And so, we're zipping lower. Any signs of our bullishness? No. Nope, nope, nope. So, EGLD is just not looking too good, right? So, yeah, I'd, I'd be careful. We're under the skinny pink line. And we don't see any clear bullish reversal chart pattern for EGLD. So, stay safe. Stay safe. Um, love top 20 until AVEX Alien. <laughs> Very top 10. All right, chain for three dollars. Good luck to you. This channel is awesome. Thank you very much. It's excellent. Uh, good long-term investment. Yo, bro, you gotta do your own research uh, about uh, X Fund. Uh, but from a technical perspective, right? Uh, okay, let's let's take a look at X Fund. Uh, so X Fund, we were actually expecting a squeeze to pan out, to break out towards the upside, right? So for X Fund, we are still mucking around uh, the skinny pink line, right? When it rose up over here, so like, hey, great, stay above the skinny pink line, continue higher, skinny pink line starts curving back up. Oh, this will be awesome. But we're already down under the skinny pink line. So as long as we're under the skinny pink line, we will remain with our bearish bias. Once we're above, we remain with a bullish bias. So yeah, it's just like this. We were up for a while, but then we came back down. Attempted to break, failed. Break up, break back down. So there's still selling pressure, which means that the whales are looking to accumulate more X fun. Uh, at the same time, this is a very nice squeeze, right? Could it still drop a bit lower? And could this still be considered a nice big accumulation uh, phase? Yeah, as long as we don't take out these lows, it's good. So which means that um, 
to be honest, it can still drop quite a lot though. Fifty <laughs> percent. So there you go. But but the moment we take out these lows, that's it. We move on. Uh, uh, uh where is this? Duko, I think we already did this. Uh, yeah. Again, there's just nothing much happening over here. Uh, for all of these coins, why is Lime Wire go? Why is Lime Wire go? All right, uh, let's check out the top fifty. We're gonna do with Sui GRT Tao Op Vet Maker R with, and then we'll do Flocky at number fifty. Let's get straight into it with against BTC. We are okay. We are in some sort of a squeeze. You see this? Uh -huh. So we've could be competing a symmetrical over here. But it's very important that we do not take out these lows. It's very, very important. Uh, but if anything, I would be anticipating Weave to go higher. If you look at Weave against USD, right? Um, okay, wait. Weave, where's Weave? Wi-Fi map, bro. Weave. Weave Dosh? Weave Dosh? Okay, no, it's not. Okay, so if we look at Weave, right? Uh, we can count one. Two, three. Why is this a wave three? One, two, three, four, five. Wave three, right? We can count sub, uh, five sub waves over here. And we are in the midst of a wave four. Doesn't mean we're going to form a symmetrical triangle. We could still get a falling channel over here. And this could still be a valid wave four as we go out for a wave five. So I'm still anticipating the possibility of a wave five coming on for dot wave head. So as it stands, um, yeah, again, we, we are not entirely sure whether if this is it. I suspect we're going to sweep the lows over here, though. So a little bit more downside, sweeping everything first before going higher. But at the same time, if you drop too low, this whole thing could turn into a descending as well. Mountains, one, two, three. Oh, boy. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. We will see how it goes. Sui against BDC. Here we are for Sui. Uh, Sui is again under the skinny pink line. As long as we are under the skinny pink line, we remain with a bearish bias. Uh, but we're aware that uh, Sui might form something like a, you know, if we were to cut through, yeah. You see, this is a potential squeeze again, All right? Uh, but again, we're still not entirely sure. Um, one, two, three, four. You know, you can see five waves down. I suspect we're probably gonna sweep these lows as well. But I already see lower lows, right? So this could be a sign that things could be about to reverse for Sui BTC. But uh, Sui against USD has just touched the skinny pink line for the third time. So I suspect you're going to break down under the skinny pink line soon for Sui. So again, I would preach caution for Sui. The graph, GRT against BTC. Here we are for the graph. Uh, the graph is uh, under the skinny pink line. Uh, we were above it, but now we're back down. Uh, I can see this, you know, mountains. Oh boy, it's not good. So, <laughs> be careful about uh, rushing into a trade for the graph against BDC, against USD. We're still above the skinny pink line, but the BDC pair is down. Uh, could we still uh, see a squeeze and break higher? Yeah, sure. But we need to see the strong rally come on. Because every time we rally, we get pulled down. Rally, we get pulled down. Rally, could we get pulled even lower? Right, This whole thing could be a left shoulder hit, right shoulder in the making, collapse. But we're above the skinny pink line. So we are still hopeful that things could still uh, continue higher for the graph. Right? Uh, we have big, big targets for the graph. Probably close to past a dollar fifty though. But uh, at this point of time, yeah, we're still not entirely sure. Right? Graph BDC don't really look that good. So we need to see some strength on BDC first. Bit tensor, Tau, if you look at Tau against USD on gate, right? <laughs> oh my god. Uh okay, wait. We probably see it here. Tau. So if you look at B tensor, uh, it's already touching the skinny pink line. And this is not a good sign. Right? This is a sign of exhaustion. Right? A sign of continuation would be zip up, continue up, continue up, right? Uh, but you know it's it's coming all the way back down and it's already surpassed the top over here, right? So when the zip up came, look at how how quick we continued, right? Where, where is the distance, right? Look at the big distance. Super bullish. But right now, we've already begun to come back down to the previous consolidation area. And we've also touched the skinny pink line. So there are two clues that shows that B tensor is, yeah, is, is turning weak. So I would preach caution about rushing into B tensor. Optimism against BTC. Here we are for OP. Okay, OP is clearly under the skinny pink line. 
uh, no clear signs of life. You can also, again, I think we've mentioned this many times before. Mountains, 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 mountains. Mm. It's not good, Borowskis. It's not good. Up against USDT. Here we are for up. Again, look at this. All right, very good example. We, we slide through the skinny pink line. We came back up. This is what you call get out rally. You get out. There's a rally. Uh, and after that, we form mountains. What happened? Bam, we're down. So... Yeah, it's just, it's just not really that good. It's not good. Optimism is just not looking too good. VeChain against BDC. Here we are for VeChain. <laughs> and it keeps going lower. Any signs of life? Could we be close to the end? Again, not much information to work with. VeChain against USD. Oh, we touched the skinny pink line. Nope, we're going to move on from VeChain. Maker! Maker against BDC. Okay, Maker against BDC is in a huge, huge squeeze. Absolute gigantic squeeze over here. Right, lower highs, lower highs, lower highs, higher lows, higher lows. Uh -huh. Right, A, B, C, D. We're expecting an E to complete before breakout, right? Um, yeah, but we're falling right now. How much lower are we gonna go? I suspect we could be sweeping all of these lows before continuing higher, right? But uh, keep an eye out on the resistance for Maker BDC. Uh, Maker against USD. Ooh, we're very close to the skinny pink line. Could we still see a strong rally? Yeah, sure. But until it happens, you know. And, and we've already done so much. Right, it's already a 600% rise. So again, I would preach caution for Maker uh, about going long. If anything, uh, <laughs> yeah, nothing much. Uh, our Reef against BDC, still clearly above the skinny pink line. Still, we could see a strong rally up. Um, it, it has a neck of going higher, and then it gets pulled down. Higher, gets pulled down. Higher, gets pulled down. Bam, it blasts off. Uh, but if I had to count the waves, right, this, this is really complete. One, two, three, four. This could really be five. So, yeah, but we're above the skinny pink line. So we're still remaining hopeful that uh, we'll see some sort of rally. And then this rally goes higher, right, to 0 0.001 potentially. So, yeah, we'll, we'll keep that uh, at the back of our mind. And we'll see how it goes. Our reef against USD, also clearly above the skinny pink line. Still really bullish. Um, again, I can also count five. One, two, three, four, five. Right, we might get an ending fifth wave though. So this could be a little bit higher, just a little bit higher. And for that, uh, yeah, there could be a deep correction for our reef. Right, you can consider this whole thing as a one, two, three, four. There'll be another one. More likely than not, another one. Right, we're still pretty bullish though, above the skinny pink line. So, yeah, one last ride. One last ride for our reef. Mm, Floki! Okay, if you look at Floki. Uh, yeah, Flo Floki is already uh, at its high. Okay, it's a new all time high. Could we still go higher for Floki? Yeah, sure. Uh, but again, one, two, three, four, five. All right. Yeah, no, it uh, doesn't look too good to me, though, uh, at this point of time. So again, I will preach caution about uh, rushing into a trade for Floki. All right. Um, yeah, no, no strong opinions for Floki. All right, boys and girls, I guess that's it for the top 50. If you have yet to check out the four, top 40, go check it out. And hope you guys have a great weekend. See you in the next one.